Hello, beautiful Pisces souls, and welcome to the December tarot forecast. The Pisces December 2024 tarot forecast. Welcome. Um, so this reading is to offer you clarity and guidance on the month of December and the year 2024. Um, certain elements like, you know, what you're walking away from, what you're heading towards. Um, for some reason, I feel like when I say the word walking, people get like triggered or something like that for whatever reason um so in the first house we have the temperance card here which talks about like sobriety healing speaking to your higher self um talking to your higher power uh in your second house of uh, like money finances and priorities we have the king of swords here so there could be a older gentleman who Whenever I see, so like if I'm doing like a dating spread, right, like you are interested in this guy and he has a page of cups in his second house or king of swords in his second house, like in this reading, my first inclination is like they're using this person for money or they could be like an investor or their employer or something. There's somebody who's giving them money that's like a priority to them because they give them a lot of money. Um, so... There is some, I feel like a Libra, but the King of Swords, I guess, like, typically is a Aquarius who might, you know, pay you for your attention. Uh, you're walking away from the energy of the Four of Wands, which is spending a lot of time at home, spending a lot of time in your living room, going to uh, parties and things like that, maybe living or sleeping in, in a living room. Uh... Like I said, you have like an angelic appearance right now. So you might have been like, especially last month, I saw the devil in the 12th house Pisces position. So now this month, I'm like, okay, well, like you might have been looking a little bit demonic uh, in November, but in December, you're looking very angelic. And uh, there's this older King of Swords man who wants to give you money as a financial resource for you, uh, which you're speaking to existence is... Uh, you know, I mean, you might be, like, hoarding money. You might have an affinity for Scrooge McDuck from, um, you know, DuckTales or something. So you might like the idea of having a gigantic vault of money and jumping into it. Uh, there's also this thing, I guess, like, maybe you're afraid of possession or someone treating you like a possession. Um, or a spirit possessing you. Or letting spirits possess you, like alcoholism. I see that you feel feel very like young and clumsy or you might have a lot of feelings for a young clumsy Pisces uh, or Scorpio or Cancer. I see that your biggest obstacle, uh, this the biggest obstacle in your journey this month is uh, the King of Swords reverse, which is like alcoholic people, addicts, like people who drink too much coffee, people who drink too much alcohol. And... Then I see uh, what will help you is the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So that is like an appliance breaking and then some Virgo swooping in to help you, a Sagittarius helping you. Um, this could be, as it is reversed, it could be like the surprise and delight that life has for you when you don't analyze your natal chart and then analyze it later to see how the astrology is corresponding with um, daily events. But typically, I would see this like what will help you in your day-to-day -day travels and exploration, explorations of life is um, looking at your own natal chart, looking at like planetstoday.com, or uh, reading a daily horoscope like Astro Style or something like that. Um, I see that you are heading towards or what you are attracting is the Six of Swords, which is um, aroma, uh, positive affirmations and aromatherapy. Um, so this is like someone could be giving you a whole bunch of incense uh, and candles or a bunch of stuff they might have taken from you back. Uh, you might be just spe you might be speaking more positively about yourself and others, um, especially dealing with people who fall under the sign of Libra or Libra situations like, you know, exes, past relationships. And uh, I see like your want and desire is like a good reputation, which you have, which has been a big thing on your mind throughout the fall and winter. And um, this Queen of Swords character is still here, but she is appearing in your ninth house. 
so uh, you might, they might be like questioning you about like your college experience or how much of college you've completed. And uh, the, which I don't know. So there's something, I guess, like your career, your destiny that you're uncomfortable with. So it's like, I've, I've been caught in this too, where it's like, you know, you might've been figure skating since you were four years old still figure skate every day you go find an ice rink and skate around and you're like what am i gonna be like what am i gonna do when i grow up you know you're like 45 and you're like doing triple sow cows and whatever and you're like i just like i wish i could find like, what my thing is and it might just be <clears throat> it might just be figure skating and like it might not be that for everyone but um you know it's like typically the thing that you do every day uh, and I tell this story over and over again about how this Queen of Swords tarot reader was like, oh, you're going to be a tarot reader. I was like, that's ridiculous. It's like, that's absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to do other things. Um, so there's that. And that might make you uncomfortable because it could be something that you maybe have brushed off or pushed away for a very long time um, or have even been a non-starter. And it's been like you haven't been able to get off the couch to start it. Uh, or there's a person in your way that you know that is blocking you and that you're using as like an excuse or a crutch to not start this project that you're supposed to start. And uh, it's blocking your career and it makes you, it will make you even more uncomfortable to not accomplish these things that you have set out for yourself. Uh, and then also internalizing like what's going to help is this uh, hangman in the 11th house. So also like realizing that the hangman is a Pisces card, like the moon is a Pisces card. Don't see the moon here. Temperance is a Sagittarius card. Jupiter, uh, you got, uh, um, what you got here? Uh, Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups reverse. So this is saying to me like drinking too much coffee, drinking too much alcohol, it'll cause misfortune like over time. You know what I mean? Having a cup of coffee once isn't gonna kill you. Having a, a couple shots of tequila isn't gonna kill you. Um, but doing that every day or in a consistent pattern um, will cause you to have a lack of positive affirmation and good aromas in your life. Uh, but so internalizing that the hangman is a Pisces card is that everybody will always see you as some type of heretic. Literally, if you're just like, you know, these carrots aren't rotten, eat these carrots. They're like, oh, Pisces, what do you know? <laughs> you know, so... Um, just eat your carrots and be happy um, or drink your tea or whatever it is. Um, also that you have a chill vibe and that you're meant to wear gray hoodies and tick, red TikTok leggings and just chill out and relax and drink tea and that's okay. And people might want to uh, ostracize you for that for whatever reason, but it's okay to be chill. It's okay to be a spiritual leader. Um, because whenever I see the hangman, it is this message of go study the runes, go study mythology, take time to learn about spirituality. That's sort of your path. Um, you know, somebody might've told you like, oh, you're more suited for the priesthood as like a mean gay joke, uh, when you're a child and you're like, you know what? But like outside of all the gay jokes, like, no, I do actually have this connection with God and like want to work in the church. Um, and then, so I see, I mean, it could, so there's a lot of like intoxicated people around you this month. It is the holidays. It is, you know, Saturnalia and all those things in December, Christmas or whatever. So I see that your obstacle is a King of Cups reverse. And I see in your 12th house is the Queen of Cups reverse. So it's like the sad couple, like these like two sad people, you know, like the odd couple, it's the sad couple. And then the energies we're heading towards is the the um two of wands reversed so what that says to me is that you might be like helping somebody who is going through a breakup um someone might be experiencing some type of breakup um they might have been expecting to go on some type of trip together and their plans have changed you know it's time to go back to the drawing board um but there's also this whole energy throughout november of um or of december sorry probably been messing that up this entire time uh, throughout December of um, being unblocked. So uh, with the Wheel of Fortune reversed um, and the Temperance card and talking about the month of December. So it's like 
There might be some Sagittarius that's having some epiphany that's going to want to work with you more often every day on some type of situation. Perhaps it's some breakup and some alcoholics. Okay, well, thank you for listening, beautiful souls. Uh, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.